Hello guys, this is lesson number eight of my course about view inertia in Laravel and we're halfway there through the course and topic of today is multiple layout. So what if you want to have a layout for the guest and another layout for the authenticated user to see the data? How to do it all in inertia? You will see now and I will keep publishing new videos, one video per day here on YouTube. But if you don't want to wait, you can purchase the full course here. Also getting access to the repository of the code. Now let's dive into the today's lesson. And now it's time to get from single layout to multiple layout. As you can see, the design has been improved. So under the hood behind the scenes, I've implemented a design similar to Laravel Breeze starter kit. Since this course is not about design HTML or CSS, you can check that out on GitHub. I will quickly show you. So instead of just a few divs without any design, I added a lot of divs based on Laravel Breeze and Tailwind and stuff like that. Those links are the same and the slot is moved here inside of the divs. Everything else is just HTML and CSS. And now we will create two layouts, one for the logged in user and one for the login form. Because login form is quite often a different design, which is without any header or footer, without any menu, just the login form in the middle. And in this lesson, I will show you how to separate the design. And in the next lesson, we will actually implement the login. So for now, those high user and logout are just hard coded. There's no authentication yet, but we will build it quite soon. So first, I want to show you an example of Laravel Breeze itself. The source is on GitHub. So if we take a look how it works, you install Laravel Breeze, you go to register. And by the way, did you know that Laravel Breeze has a separate inertia version? This is the documentation. So you can do PHP Artisan Breeze install view and it will enable inertia. So there is a register form or actually I will probably show it from the very beginning. So you load the homepage, it loads all the JavaScript application, then you click register. And then again, it's a single page application. No assets are downloaded, except for the new ones that weren't present there. Then you fill in the form. I will use fake filler Chrome extension. You register and then only dashboard is refreshed and the dashboard result is JSON. So this is inertia. And to have two separate layouts back to GitHub, we have this resources JS pages dashboard view uses breeze authenticated layout. So it's very similar to the app layout from our previous lessons. We have head, we have breeze authenticated layout and then the content inside. Similarly, we have resources JS pages auth login view, which imports a lot of components, but among them breeze guest layout. And then you have breeze guest layout, head, and then everything inside. And if we take a look at those layouts, this is the layout for authenticated view. Again, a lot of things important from the breeze components, but basically it's a template with slot in the middle. Here it is the slot. And similarly, guest layout, it's much shorter, of course, for login form, the template with slot inside. So similarly to this, let's create our login layout for now hard coded and later we'll implement the login itself. So we go to app.view and let's do file save as and let's call it auth.view, so layouts auth, or you can call it layouts guest or whatever. And I will paste that design from my notes. Again, this course is not about the HTML and CSS. The goal is for you to understand how inertia works. So before the slot, we have this set of divs, and then we need to close those divs like this, div, div, div should be working. And now let's create our login page, which would use that auth view. So we open about view, do file save as, let's create a subfolder called auth, pages auth, and we will name the component login.view. What do we need to change here? So title will be log in. Instead of app layout, we will use auth layout and we will import it from here. So one level above layouts auth view. And inside of here, let's just put in a paragraph login form coming soon, something like this. So we have the login view, we save, build successful. Now we need to create the route in the routes web. Let's create route inertia for the login component. Route inertia, login, and the component will be auth login, like this, name login, like this. And let's try it out. So our post list, if we refresh, it still works. But if we go to login, let's see what happens. The text is here, but the layout is not here. What did we miss? In the login view, of course, it's not app layout, it's auth layout. Auth layout here and auth layout here. 
build successful and if we refresh we do have the layout which will have login form in the next lesson.